my view, based on my experience in government, is there's five key areas in which you can help improve and manage government employees. First one is your philosophy. What you believe will dictate how you manage. Now, I will say that there are certain people I've seen in my career who don't believe anything. All they believe in doing is survival. So they'll blow with the wind depending upon who's, who's in a leadership capacity. The problem with that approach is that the people who are working with you day after day, if they don't believe you, if they don't feel that you stand for anything, how much respect are they going to give you? Second thing is how well you communicate. There's 50 million courses on communication. I'm going to touch a little bit about some, some ways and strategies you can do as, as well as the concept of visual management, which I think you'll find is pretty novel. Uh, your management systems and how well you apply them, which I think of, of everything in terms of management is the key is how well you use your management systems. Fourthly, the, the employee dynamics within your organization. How do people relate to each other and how do they relate to you? And lastly, your skill at dealing with difficult employees. And, and you'll get several examples today based on what, I, what, I'm, what I'm imparting to you about situations, real world situations. Every, way, every example I give you is a real world situation that I personally have to deal with. It may sound pretty screwy, but I suspect many of you have been involved in similar situations. As